Anthony Joshua is set for a busy 18 months as he faces a slew of mandatory challengers. The heavyweight world champion will fight unbeaten American Yarrell Miller in New York on June 1. He then hopes to face fellow ruler Deontay Wilder towards the end of the year. But Wilder rejected and pound 80 million deal which included two fights against the Brit. And if an agreement cannot be reached, Joshua will likely face Oleksandra Zyk in the autumn. The Ukrainian is set to make his heavyweight debut against Carlos Takam in May having unified the cruiserweight division. Should Joshua defeat his fellow Olympic gold medalist, he would then be required to face IBF mandatory Kubrat Pulev. Pulev was due to challenge Joshua in 2017 but was ruled out of their Cardiff clash through injury and replaced at short notice by Takam. Should Pulev be dispatched next spring, Joshua would then be forced to fight his WBA mandatory later in the year. That could mean a fight with Wilder, or Tyson Fury, would be pushed back until 2021. Alternatively, Joshua could relinquish one of his belts to avoid facing one of his mandatory challengers. But that would reduce the appeal of a fight with Wilder as it would no longer crown the first undisputed heavyweight champion since Lennox Lewis reigned in 1999. Joshua's promoter Eddie Hearn told Diffle TV, We don't want to vacate one of the titles because we want the undisputed fight. I mean, don't get me wrong. If a title was vacated, we'd still fight Wilder, but it wouldn't be the undisputed fight. That's the golden chalice. So that's why we want it to happen in November, December.